Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Please smash that subscribe button and we'll get into the video right away. Guys, I, I didn't see anything about his um, sports picks last night. I mean, it can happen. We all lost sports picks, that's not the point. But when you got a salesman like him, that's always, they dodge the questions, they dodge anything that happens bad, they dodge anything that goes wrong. It was absolutely asinine on his um, the way he structured. Let's let's parlay a pick, the favorite with two picks. One's gonna lose, one's gonna win, pending the favorite wins. Whereas if you do the numbers, like I had on my video yesterday, you just play one favorite, whether it be with the big uh, money line, it's gonna come out the same more or less within two, three dollars. It's gonna come out ahead actually, I believe, but that's just what I'm saying. The guy is just, when he does these sports picks and he does these videos with the sports, he looks like a complete moron. Let's address this video. I didn't see any of the uh, sports picks. So, you know, all this BS about consistency, consistency is uh, just a load of you know what. He doesn't even address the previous day's uh, results. Now he, he looked like a complete idiot. You could see the tension in his face. Be, please put this in the comments and uh, tell me what y'all thought, if y'all saw that ridiculous video on him playing roulette. Went all the way down to 475, which if he did not make a comeback and he kept losing, that video would have never aired, okay? Let's understand that. How many of these videos never air and he, he shows this balance like that. There, there's supposed to be some trust like we believe that's one. All you have to do is add money to your account. It's that simple. It's that easy. You just add money to your account and boom, the balance goes up. So if he wants to make it look like he won 450, he sends 450 to them. It's not hard. If he wants to prove, and he'll never do this. Does that make sense to you? He'll never do this. Okay. All he has to do is go on that app. He, he knows how to use their website. He goes on the history, and he shows the day-to-day -day progress. It'll show a deposit. It'll show his sports wins. It'll show the casino wins. The sports book has its own wins and losses. He can easily show that Monday through Sunday. Sunday, you know, it'll go seven days. It'll show that week. He can easily, if he was, if he was tearing this up and just... Scorching hot, making all this money. He'd show you that, but he's not going to do that. Okay, so this guy's just a just a mess when it comes to trying to show um, any kind of um, clarity, transparency, however you want to say it. Watching the video today though was just gut wrenching. Like all his videos, he, he he's he he quickly goes down from seven fifty to. 475 500 and he did it by and if you watch he doesn't this this shows you what a fraud he is he doesn't play his oh, strategies that he tries to sell and, and and push out there he's just strictly guessing red black red black and then he looks at the little board like high number low number every time that ball rolls it has zero memory until you can do that and understand it has zero memory and the wheel has no um, knowledge of what's going to happen every every events a random event does that make sense to y'all let me repeat that again the ball and the wheel have no memory does that make sense I hope so I hope I was clear on that so He's down 475, and then he's, you know, like I said, if he did not happen to hit those larger plays and get lucky, he would have never aired the video. So, fast forwarding it to the end of the video, which is what I did, I, I fast forward through all that crap to see the results. He's went from 750 to 780, beats his chest 30 freaking dollars for that stress level. You could see the amount of stress and tension in his face and the way he tried to laugh and play things off. And it's just, it's just comical. You could see how, how intense he was. And then when he won the big $100 bet, which uh, 
if he if he lost, just know it would have never been aired. So it doesn't matter. Anytime you see a video, it's gonna show a positive result for his own sake. He's not gonna post anything that's negative, you know. And he talks about digging out holes. Let me tell you, does this make any sense to y'all? Is that is that what you saw? What you want to do? Let me again repeat that. Is that something you guys want to do? Get down two three hundred dollars, dig yourself out of a hole. And then at the end of the, the end of the thing, be up thirty dollars. I mean, it's better than being down, no doubt about that. But the, the the stress level, and the headache, and that's his that's his go to event to live off of, and make money. And let me tell you, he's not doing this every day. He's not showing you the videos that he doesn't make. That he doesn't make money. He's not making it every day. You just saw him do that. You know, all it's going to take is one thing, like those three favorites that lost last night. What happens when he doesn't hit that $100 bet? He's going to be down 475 and it's going to spiral down and down and down until eventually he's going to be either in a, in a divorce court or his wife's going to take the child and go back to Ohio or wherever she wants to do. Because let me tell you that the, the sustainability of this kind of lifestyle for somebody that doesn't have a, a high net worth, any money, any real job, because let me tell you, when you're doing what he does, you can't have other ventures. You know, let me tell you what I juggle real quickly: real estate, a full-time business with employees, and my own balancing of my portfolio, which you know takes little effort or nothing because they're all long-term positions and they're all long holds and it's just a matter of adding more to it when the market's down i believe it's on sale and that's what i do i add to positions when it's down so i mean you you know there's just no way i couldn't imagine spending time and being stressed sitting in my living room you know he went from playing five two dollars five dollars ten dollars and then he's out there playing a hundred that's that's not what you call being a smart gambler that's a degenerate a chaser trying to martingale his way to eventually he's going to keep losing and that's that's why that house is a wreck doing the things he does i want you guys to understand his his net worth and what he does is is just you know it's not any way he, he so wants to be something he's not okay and guys i'm telling you that's not the way to wealth that's not the way to happiness and that's not the way to um live that's not the way to raise a child that's not any kind of thing you would want to put your wife significant other in any kind of stress like that the instability of sitting there because you're not going to win just like yesterday his video was guaranteed to win there's no guarantees when you go into the casino. There's a guarantee you may lose. That's the only guarantee. You know, he was beating his chest, calling himself the GOAT as again because he walked away from that video up 30 bucks. Okay, again, the video would have never made it to YouTube had he lost. He'd have done something. But you can tell just by his intensity, the way he's watching that ball, the way his face is, the way he's all scrunched up, you can tell, you know, you could tell he also was just randomly guessing, hoping, hoping he got a winner. Nothing was working for him. He hit it, he hit the martingale, but sooner or later, it's just like betting on a favorite. It's going to lose, and that martingale is not going to come through, and he's going to be crying, and he's probably going to go upstairs admitting to Stacy what a failure he is, how he's got an addiction, and it is an addiction. He's an addicted, degenerate gambler with zero experience. It just he looks so such like such a newbie in everything he does. There's no there's no uh, formula for beating the casino other than a hot streak or luck. But doing it day in and day out, playing the way he does. Let me tell you another thing. And I've gotten some several emails and people reaching out to me. He's definitely on some type of. Uh, black ball list I don't want to call it the black list or whatever but he's obviously not able to go into many of his famous casinos to do filming doing probably the Mirage the win or, or what, what the Mirage um, Bellagio um, the Ariat uh, what else did he love to do it's been so long I can't even remember his Cosmopolitan a lot of those casinos uh, probably have 
sent him letters and it addressed it because he's not in there. And let me tell you something, when you take somebody with his narcissistic sociopath behavior, that's burning him up. That is eating him alive that he can't go into those properties. And just as we say that, he'll probably go do a video just to, just to prove. But you know, if he airs it and these casinos catch, they don't, they don't play games. YouTube may take forever to, to, to penalize and make, make a statement against him. But, um, these properties don't want any of this horse horsing around going that he's doing. They really don't. I, I can't see it that being a positive image for that corporation or that uh, casino. So having said all that, realize he's just he's just jerking around, wasting your time, what, trying to show you that he's something. You know this inner circle that he has. I don't know how many of these people are that's that that's stupid. I mean, I'm going to call them stupid because you're paying somebody for really guessing it's just strictly a guessing game it's no strategy did you see him implement any strategy he went to red to black black to red the he didn't even play the columns he didn't wait for this trigger the guy is just a pathological liar he doesn't follow his own advice he's looking at six reds and four blacks like there's any trend it's a 60 40 split of that the next roll it could be 50 50 and that's what it's about 50 50 you know 50 50 you know, and you watch him guess, and then he says to himself, I knew I shouldn't have switched my bet. Professional gamblers don't say that. It's just like, say, you've got the Raiders versus the Dolphins, and the game's over, the Raiders cover. Professional gambler doesn't say to himself, God, I knew I should have took the Dolphins. I knew I should have did that. They live with their bet. They're confident in their bet. If you're second-guessing what you should have done, then don't, don't, don't do it. It's that simple. If you really say you got the Astros playing the Pirates and you, if you're after the game as this quote professional gambler saying, God, I knew I should have took the Pirates. You're just guessing. You have no conviction, nothing in your plays. Okay, let's understand that. And that's all he is. And he's hoping that either dumb foreigners, um, elderly people, Anybody that's a gambling degenerate reaches out to him because you look on the, uh, um, you look on the, any of his YouTube, it, he he's just bombarded with negative negative uh, press. The guy, I mean, everybody knows he's just a con man, and that's what the deal is. And guys, you know we're talking, you know about putting this whole gambling thing to rest. That's not the way to make wealth and income and make money, okay? So you say, well, what do I suggest you do? You know, I, I may, I'm gonna make a whole nother video of this, on this, you know, and give you guys some hope. If you're just working a nine to five, nothing wrong with that, and that's what you're happy, and you got a happy family life, that's fine, but, so you guys don't just keep going up the, in age and every year that passes by you don't have regret on things that you do what you invest in you know you're gonna have to start starting something is better than later on in life regretting not doing something so it's never too late is what I'm saying if you don't want to invest in real estate or you don't want to invest in a in the stock market you're gonna eventually have to find some passive income to supplement you're not going to get any returns just sitting your money in the bank. You're going to have to take the chance. Taking a chance is better than not taking a chance is what I'm trying to tell you. Make a great educated decision. Do your homework. But if you're just sitting there year after year after year, oh, the timing's not right. I'm scared. You're going to be scared until you actually go and implement whatever decision you're going to make. I highly encourage you all to look at the real estate route, distressed properties if it's in your market, Airbnb, long-term renters, finding the right property for yourself. And if that's not for you and you can't do that, you know, then, then you're going to have to find a passive stream of income to build on. Just sitting at home, getting your paycheck, you know, if you do the numbers and you save, if you want to save, give you an example this is just off the top of my head without just doing the numbers you have to save literally a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year for three years okay hundred and fifty thousand dollars I'm sorry a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for 20 years 
to reach $3 million. So when you get to retirement age, you'll have $3 million. What does that mean? That means when you're retired with the $3 million savings, you can deplete, deplete that at 4% per month at $10,000 a month to live on. You say, well, I can live a lot cheaper than $10,000. Well, hopefully you can, but I'm just saying to, to do the things you want to do, whether it's with your kids, your grandkids, your, your spouse, whoever it may be, and you want to enjoy life, if, you're not, if your health is good and you're, everything's going well, $10,000 a month is enough to enjoy your retired life with. And I, I highly doubt that you're going to be able to save $150,000 a year just putting it under your mattress or in your bank account with no growth, no, no earning potential. You're going to put $150,000 a year for 20 years to get $3 million. And then you can take 4% of that, the rule we always use 4% a month at retirement age to live on and, and do things with. You can take an advance. There's nothing wrong with that, but you know you don't want to deplete it. So, ten thousand dollars a month will last you a, a good long time. But you're not going to do it that way. So, how are you going to do it? You're going to have to get on a savings plan, and and you know the stock market's volatile. It's not cut out for everybody. I highly encourage you guys to look at real estate, whether it's a small apartment building, a duplex, a fourplex, an eightplex. Uh, di distressed properties, buying them right, flipping them, something that you can put your hands on and do and earn some money. But it's the, just remember, when you do this, it's done at the purchase. It's not done at the sale. You already know what you want at the sale, but you got to buy the property right. Guys, I didn't mean to get off at a tangent on, on wealth building, but, you know, if, if not a highly... Uh, believe that if you're going to do the stock market get some really good ETFs electronically traded funds that pay good dividends blue chip dividend stocks and keep adding to it month after month after month I do it day after day you know I'm going to show you my portfolio in, in the next videos and show you the dividends I think the highest dividend I get per month is probably about $64 a month just in passive income and guys, I'm telling you, I'm nothing, no genius, no brain, no anything. And like I said, it's just a matter of starting. You don't want to wait so long that you regret what you you, you, you miss out on. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to start doing something. But sitting idle and doing nothing is not the answer. So guys, get motivated. Take a leap of faith. Make an educated decision. If you want to send me an email, doublejackpot01 at gmail.com. Leave it in the comments and descriptions, but I, you're going to have to take care of yourself. And just remember, it's not through this asinine idea of going to bet money and, and martingaling your way to wealth. You know, you're going to, just like, just like when he, he shot off his mouth about the favorites and what happened? It was a losing day. What happened the next day? What do all con men do? Ignore the situation. Ignore the losing day. Ignore it was an idiotic idea. Matter of fact, I don't know if this is true or not, but you can leave it in the comments, but I think that video on sports gambling may be down. I don't. I think he took it down, and that's what all con men do. When they have an idiotic video and they realize, heck, that wasn't such a good idea, it backfired. Had it won, it'd probably still be up, but I think that video is down. But guys, please, if you haven't subscribed already, please smash that subscribe button. And I look forward to everyone's comments. And guys, I really appreciate all y'all's comments and everything y'all leave and do. I, I enjoy reading them. I read every one of them. I try to address all of you guys. And I really appreciate all the uh, support y'all have given me. And um, just see you on the next video. Y'all have a great evening.